so I'll shape it differently. Uh, one of the things I learned, uh, you can make great, almost every product can be great, okay? Uh, I learned in, in my years that it doesn't have to be uh, a cool product, okay? Uh, um, to work in, like, if you look what I did in Augury, it's like, not predictive maintenance, it's, it's in, in a way, it's a boring stuff if you if you think about it like machines. Uh, but if if you build a cool if you if if you have a great team that think about the ways in a cool way, and and come to work passion that that's what I'm looking for. Okay, uh, that's what makes me you know wake up in, in the morning. It, it can be a a product on, on on the most boring security stuff, and if the team is, is approaching it in in an innovative way and and want to do the work. And you don't need to push them uh, to do the work. That's that what makes me tick. The current product is actually an interesting. Uh, so it's a cybersecurity product. It's the first time I'm doing cyber. Uh, it means a lot of the very very. I, I'm kind of an engineering background. I understand a lot of it, but but some of the things I don't understand. So that's kind of some of the excitement that uh, I actually need to rely a lot about the engineers to define a lot of the requirements. Uh, especially the, the hard cyber stuff, like I can define that. So it's mostly, but uh, one of the exciting stuff is it, for me that um, it's a very hard, challenging user experience uh, to, to understand. Like you can sell our product if you think what's the best user experience it has. Uh, it, means if our user, which are the uh, cyber, you know, the CISO of the companies, don't interact with the product ever, that means a successful product. Like they know it's there, it protects them, and then they don't hear anything from it. That's the best experience. And, and that's a very hard uh, area uh, to operate in, okay? Like, you know, you, you, you work in a consumer product or a product that has a lot of stickiness, and it's it's very easy to measure that. How do you succeed? You know, your active daily user or whatever measurement you want. And here, no, there is like the best experience is if they don't look at it and they are quiet. So so that's one of I didn't I, I can't say I cracked it yet, but that's one of the things I'm working on. Like for example, now we are changing our even though they don't need our uh, what you call dashboard or something. You know, they're still looking at you for demo and, and, and I'm still trying like, yeah, send a message from one way uh, that they don't need us, but on the other way that they can get useful insight from our from our UI and, and get happy about it. So, you know, after a year, even if they look at the competi a competitive product, uh, they will come and say, and let's say they are comparable from, from cyber security perspective, uh, which I think they are not because of course, we have the best product, <laughs> but let's let's assume uh, uh, they have like that's kind of how do I crack that that they will still want even though they don't need to, okay, and it doesn't give them they will still want and and, and get hooked, okay. Uh, so that's like a very exciting for me, and uh, hopefully I crack it. I don't know, you know, that's it's a process we started, uh, and 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 it will take time because rightfully it's. I cannot say that's the highest priority for the product. It's kind of a more uh, task that I think should be done for the long term. Uh, on the short term, uh, our customers are checking us by the detection rate. It's it's very clear. Like they don't care about the user experience. They care like if if we are better than the competitor in detection, then we are better.